We begin tonight with a violent crash that injured four people, including two San Diego police officers. And now investigators believe the driver of that other car may have been under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Jennifer Franco is live in the Midway District with the latest on the investigation. Jennifer. Yeah, that's right, Tony. And as you can see behind me, traffic is flowing again tonight on Midway Drive and Barnett Avenue hours after that crash led to road closures in the area. Now, a few people that I spoke with that work at some of the businesses at Midway Plaza, it's a small shopping center right in front of me. In fact, they didn't want to go on camera, but they did tell me that they heard a loud boom when that crash happened. Damage is visible to both front ends of a silver Honda Accord and San Diego police SUV. The two vehicles colliding at the intersection of Midway Drive and Barnett Avenue around 1215 in the afternoon. SDPD confirms the police vehicle had lights and sirens on while responding to an emergency call. It stopped at the intersection to make sure it was clear before proceeding through the red light. That's when the driver of the Honda, a 27 year old woman, turned left in front of the police vehicle colliding with it. Police say she was driving under the influence. Both officers were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. The driver and her passenger suffered broken bones and were also taken to the hospital. Everyone involved in the crash is expected to make a full recovery. It's a close call as the department continues to mourn the loss of an officer killed in a fiery crash following a high speed pursuit two months ago. Another officer was severely injured but now recovering at home. Drivers trying to get through the area faced traffic delays and detours, like these two friends meeting up at a nearby restaurant. I was already a little nervous trying to get in, and then I saw the police cars, and so I had to like make a U-turn, and it was a little difficult to get in. This plaza near the crash site becoming difficult to navigate with drivers cutting across to get around. I wasn't sure if cars were here, if there was going to be any parking and all of that. Some area regulars say that particular intersection is concerning when it comes to safety. People are just going really fast and it's around a slight curve. So people that are going pretty quickly aren't going to be able to see that you're turning in or turning left from the opposite side of traffic. Yeah, now, as far as the investigation goes, we have not received any information about whether that woman, the driver of the silver Honda, has been charged or arrested for DUI. Now, of course, as soon as we get any new information about this case, we'll be sure to update our viewers. But that is the very latest for now. Reporting live in the Midway District, I'm Jennifer Franco. I'll send it back to you, Tony. All right, Jennifer Franco, starting us off tonight. Thank you so much, Jennifer.